Yeah? You seem to two thirds water. A lot oh, of yeah? the viewers don't know that. In fact, if I was to ring you out, <laughs> you would fill a bath. That's kind of weird, King. <laughs> Yeah. Parents do slip sometimes. Yeah. Welcome back to our Gadget Show water special. We've taken the Gadget Show and simply added water to make it even more delicious. Right, I want to talk to you about waterproof jackets and staying dry. Because when you're stuck in the middle of a storm, what you really want is a top-notch waterproof jacket that keeps you dry. So, I set about some testing. And fortunately for me, I got to choose my help. And here it is, the winning jacket. And what strikes me is how incredibly lightweight it, it is. It really is, but it performed beautifully in that test. Yes. Probably make quite a good firefighter. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah. It's a really cool test, John. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really glad you did that, because so many people ask me on a regular basis, what shall I do with my phone? It's wet. Because people drop them down the loo, don't they? Yeah, I mean, we know Jason's done it on at least two occasions. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think whatever you've done with it, though, speed is definitely of the essence. You've got to get it out of the water and get that battery out as soon as possible. Mm. Yeah, good mm. point. And also, maybe don't put your phone in your back pocket. <laughs> right, now it's time to return to this week's challenge between Jason and Otis. They were each given the task of building a gadget watercraft and then going head-to-head -head in a high-powered boat race. Otis has gone for a rather cool-sounding solar-powered catamaran, and Jason, well, Jason's gone for some sort of body boat idea, and he'll probably add in some kind of engine. Anyway, we rejoin the action as their ideas are about to turn into reality. <laughs> 